Hi YouTube. Okay, in this video we're going to uh, critique this drawing uploaded uh, by a member of our realistic drawing group. I'm going to get right into this critique here of this drawing. Uh, for the sake of uh, going over this, what I'm going to do is, because this is a printout, actually they're both printouts, but this is the reference photo here. And uh, I just printed out on regular printer paper, and this is on regular printer paper. So I have no way of actually modifying this uh, as I'm going over it. I can't erase I can darken areas, but I can't erase. So what I'm going to do is to simulate uh, erasing or lighting an area, I will use this white charcoal pencil. What they call a charcoal pencil. I'm not quite sure. It's pastel, actually. Chalk. And I'm going to use this uh, Stadler EE for the dark. So uh, the white for the light and the black here for the dark to simulate... Um, darkening and lightening when I'm making points. Okay, now here's the drawing and by itself, without the reference photo, by itself, it's a really nice drawing. And clearly the artist is talented. Did a great job on the ears, great job on the hair, really, really nice drawing. But we're aiming for uh, realism based on whatever is used as the subject. So uh, I'm asked to, you know, give uh, suggestions and so forth because the aim is to try to get closer to this. So I'm going to use this as the reference then. So starting off with the area up here, what needs to point out, what needs to be pointed out is you have these changes in tones. If you notice here, all this is well lit. The light's coming from this angle this way and so all this is lit up here. Well, in order for these highlights to show up the areas next to it of course needs to be darkened down and so over here while you can see there's a little bit of highlight here it needs a lot more to to bring it up to this here. So I'm just going to quickly mark the area here that needs to be um, lightened up because it's too dark. At the same time, we have the darkening areas here. You need to need to definitely bring that out. Get that even darker, and don't be afraid to go dark. And there's no highlight here. Should be no highlight here. So you got to take that out. Don't put any highlight right here along the hairline. Okay, so I'm just going to simulate darkening. This is the area that needs to be darkened. And in the hair itself, take, take a close look inside the hair and you'll notice that the light hits inside the hair itself right here. All this area here needs to have highlights. So you want to come in here with your eraser and you want to start carefully dabbing out the highlight areas because you don't want that too dark you want to do something like just take this part out here along the simulated hairline here I know that's kind of razored in and then down here we have this this is all highlighted you want to look at all these details because if this is what you're trying to to uh, draw then you don't want to leave out these details. These details are very important. All right. Now look around the eyes here. Notice how, notice how dark it is right in the eye area, right here. Matter of fact, it's so dark, you really cannot tell where the shadow ends and where the eyebrow begins. I mean, it's it's. It's very subtle differences 
And in this case here, it's very clear and, and um, the artist, you know, is taking some liberties to draw it the way he sees it. But this is, this is very dark. This all needs to be just as dark as that. All that. Now, these highlights here are the ones that you're going to erase out. And that's through the, the eyelashes, or the eyebrows, excuse me. I always say that, get them confused. Okay, and that, that stops right here. And you can see I left it up there on the eyelid itself, which is fine. Get in there. I'm trying to get this chalk to get in here. All right, something like that. All right, and I that definitely needs to be darker. This is all darker here. So we got to get that. And looking right in here, right between the the actual, right between the eyelid and the upper area right here. You see how real dark that crease is right here? You need to darken that crease right in there. It has to look just as dark and then come out and up and over. Up and over, just like that. See, it's much thicker here than it is on the drawing. So we gotta get that up. And then it comes up and then I'm gonna take and lighten my hand a little bit, lighten the pressure, because as you come up, then it's going to go lighter. Okay. So those are areas that need to be done. Over here, same, same exact thing. Okay, all this needs to be darkened. So I'm just going to go ahead and just dark it up while I'm at it here. Okay, so we're starting to get closer. The eyes are starting to get a little closer here to the original. There should be no white here. There's no white here. See that? There's no white there. There should be no white there. So, take that out. That's got to be dark. Get it dark. real dark okay the the iris itself has to be darker than the white that's on the side but the white has to be dark so you need to come in here and you really need to darken that iris because it doesn't have all those highlights there's no highlights in that eye whatsoever that eye is pitch black at least in this photo it is pitch black and of course, obviously, there's use your darker pencil and you can get your pupil in there to just barely stand out, but it should be should be dark like that. Okay. And I'm gonna smear that a little bit more. Let's see. Get as close as I can. Again, this is just copy paper and uh, a little hard to make adjustments, but I just want to get a point across. Okay, now let's take a look at some other areas of detail here. And uh, of course I'm going to probably, I'm probably going to miss a bunch. I'm rushing through this somewhat. But this will get started. Okay, right here. Take a close look. Under the nose, do you see all that shadow under the nose? You need to get that shadow underneath that nose there, and it's missing underneath that nose. It needs to be much darker, much darker. Do not be afraid to go dark. Above the nostrils is dark. See, it's all dark above the nostrils. It needs to be dark above the nostrils here. This whole area is darker than in the photograph. So this area here, I'm just going to kind of... 
point out where it is between the lips get them dark get it dark look at the distance how white is that shadow get that exactly as you see it on the reference photo all this is darker you gotta look at the difference in tone look at the bottom lip getting all that light coming down on it but the upper lip of course is blocking that light and you have all that shadow so the tone of the upper lip is darker than the tone of the bottom lip but here both are the same so it's not giving the correct uh, it's not giving the correct indication of where the light is here so all this needs to be darkened this whole lip here has got to be darkened and then on that upper lip some parts are darker than others like this part right here is going to be darker than the rest of that upper lip so I'll get that part in first okay and this part here coming right out of the mouth you can see that right there that needs to be darker and this bottom part here needs to be lightened up this part here you need to take your eraser and start bringing out these highlights of this bottom lip you need to lighten that tone up and then start showing some of those lip wrinkles or whatever you want to call that we all have these little lip wrinkles thingies but you want to lighten this area up right here except between the little wrinkle thingies so that it shows okay so let's we'll just say that I'm erasing this even though I'm not because and this area here this this has really got some light hitting it you gotta get that in there right here so you gotta look at these details and and duplicate what you see okay and there's reflective light coming from underneath the lip you wanna get that in there Okay, I can't get that on there. It's not going to it's not going to accept my my chalk here cuz I already laid something down there. All right. So Okay, so these are some of the modifications that really needs to be done. Take a look at the neck. Look at how dark the neck is compared to the cheek. Okay? Look at the tone here and then look how pitch dark it is here. But you don't see that big difference here. All this, of course, needs to be darker, this whole face. But the neck has to be much darker than the face itself. So you make that nice division between the two. Now we definitely want to make sure that all this gets dark. All this here needs to be darkened. This area here all needs to be darkened. And then you can allow for the highlights to show much better go dark want to bring that bring that contrast out okay and then all this area here will will get lighter and then of course you want to make sure that you lighten this area up because this is this is where the highlights are okay so you want to show where the light is reflecting off the face this area here all this So this is an eraser. I'm erasing this area here, not till it's the paper color, but it just needs to be lighter overall. All right, it's the best I'm going to be able to do with these tools, but I get hopefully I can get my message across here on how important it is to get these particular details in here, and so get that brightness in there, the nose. All that right there should be there. Got to see it on this drawing here. Get it in there. You want to see the difference in darks and lights. That's so, so important. Okay. Let's 
darker here. Okay, you want to get that in there. See all the details I'm looking at? You want to look at the same details. Just look at all those details. This area is dark. All this is dark. Right here, notice this area right here. See how that's dark, right next to light, dark light. But here you don't see dark light, you see one shade. Put that dark in there. Just get it darker than it is next to it. I'm just, I'm just gonna mark it like that. You're gonna have light, you're gonna lighten that area up right there a little bit because the light's reflecting off the face right there. It's gonna come up here. Okay, look at the difference in tones. Get that all in there. Okay, you want to get all that in there. This whole thing here. He has like this indentation area here that people have, you know, with the forehead will come up. The only way you're going to see this is if you make the tone change from uh, mid-tone to highlight and highlight. See, so you have this mid-tone here, but you don't have it here. So you need to make sure that you get that erased in that area there you need to lighten it up and then lighten it up above and you you get that area there to show up see because you're you're now given an area to where there's reflection okay and then of course the side of the here is going to be darker you can see that's darker you want that darker that's good Okay, matter of fact, it looks good the way it is right there. This again, this is all highlighted here. Let's see, we're good here. We have highlights here, highlights here, really dark here. So that should be really dark here. Highlight here. Highlight here, or lighter tone, I should say, not necessarily highlight. Okay, I'm just getting carried away with this thing here. All right, let's see what we got here. He's got some white going on inside that eye there. So you want to get that detail and get it into your drawing. Get that detail in there. If that's in the original, if that's in the original, put it in the drawing. Okay. His irises are much darker. Make it darker. If you're going, well, I can't, I can't see it, you know, I can't see it if I make it too dark. Well, it's, you, you, if you can't see it here, you can't see it in your drawing, see. That's how it works. Okay, when you get that iris the correct, and that pupil in there the correct, make sure you get your highlight in there. You got a little highlight right there. All right. So get that eye to match. Okay. Of course, this is this is all really, really dark here. I didn't make it as dark as it is, but it should be much, much darker. Don't worry about it disappearing. It needs to be the same. Anyway, those are just some of the points, but I think I got the uh, point across here is, you know, you really do want to look for those areas and you want to darken them where they're dark, get it darker, this could still be darker, but this is just printer paper. Dark, get your uh, highlights in there where they belong, get, get all your highlights in here, and you're gonna need the dark areas to really bring out that brightness. 
underneath the nose needs to be darker. I went as dark as I could, but it needs to be dark. Highlights, highlight here, dark here, dark here, dark underneath here. Upper lip, usually darker than the bottom lip. See how that's really bright? You got to brighten that up. Underneath, darken it, darken it here. That highlights, you're going to bring those out here, the light reflection. Darken this area here, but really make the neck even darker. You can see the neck is even darker than this, but this is really dark compared to this. So you really want to catch that as well. In the ear, right here, get that dark in there. So you got all this nice, wonderful detail, but that's not what we see. So that should be dark. Instead of using your imagination of what you think the eye should look like, or maybe you uh, used a computer monitor and you had the brightness all the way up. Um, we can only go by the photograph that you have here and this is all dark. And then it comes up and then gets lighter as it gets into the light. You got to have that in there just like that. Okay, so that is important. Okay guys, well that's going to be it for this critique video. I hope you like it and maybe picked up a couple of points. And if so, give me a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.